bless you, my beloved brothers and sisters, the kings and queens, the wonderful ones which God has made with his own image. You are welcome into the presence of God again. I greet you all with the voice of God and I bring greetings from the Almighty King, the King and the name that is above every other name in this world. May you receive the testimony of God in this season. God bless you for this beautiful day and the beautiful time for we to have with God. It's a lovely moment. It's a privilege to dwell with the Almighty God. May your coming here today not be in vain. May God give you the ear of understanding. Because wisdom is profitable to direct. I am here again to bring a great man of God who has a message for us. I have 100 over 100 a saying that this message will help someone because it's very, very important. It's a message of benefit to your home because most of us did not know how to treat our partner. But through this message, you will know and understand sometimes what will come our lives. That is what our partner appreciates. That is what our partner receives as a joy, as a something very important to their life. Inside this message, you are going to see the reason, the purpose that made me to brought this message for you to know how to spice your marriage because marriage is like ocean. Marriage is like a sea that you know the beginning as in where you enter inside the sea but you don't know the end. That is how marriage is. Marriage is like a school without no certificate. You will go and go and go without no end. But in the day, the Heavenly Father will call one of you. Because no one knows it all. It's only about God. But inside this message of today, you will understand some kind of thing, the magain, the ingredient, the spice that you will add to your marriage that will make it to be perfect. Join me. Let's welcome the great man of God, daughter, pastor, energy, and his beautiful wife to give us the message of benefit that will elevate us, that will grow us in our relationship. God bless you. Join me to celebrate them as they are coming to the pulpit to give us this message of benefit. We are together. Everything is correct. No challenge. As busy as I am, we could talk on phone how many times a day? Text messages, berekete. Do you have that text message that I sent to her? Just thinking of you, and how much of a gift you are to my life and ministry. Also the authenticity of your Christianity. I saw that passion about 26 years ago. And asked you to pray in the spirit for one hour. That fervor is still there. Well done. Keep it up. I love you and I am there for you. <laughs> Becky. As spiritual as I am. <laughs> no. I am there for you. You have any challenge? Let me know. 
you need prayer, I will pray for you. How do you think she will feel? You think that text will delete from that phone? What will delete it? Every relationship is service with. If you like, be anointed. Your wife will back out of your house now, despite the anointing. <laughs> Whenever she gets tired of your ruggedity and your stony, stonish oppression. Not greeting anybody because you are in prayer and they're not one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, ten days. How are you? Good morning, sir. If there is any husband here, when you say to your wife, I love you, or you write this kind of thing, it's not weakness. It's strength. It's masculinity. It doesn't reduce you. It elevates you. I was reminding her of the fire I saw. And the memory is, in if the fire is trying to drop, remember that I still remember the fire. Lubricate your relationship number three grow together grow together grow together pray together study together fast together grow together it is a form of bonding grow together pray together study together fast together many times i am on a journey I don't want to tell you how many journeys I have been. But I'm waiting on the Lord more than seven days. No food. And she said, I go with you. And she took the journey. We saw scriptures together. We share revelation together. We will hold hands together. We will do things together. It is a time of bonding. But when you have a man that is so spiritual and a wife that is so natural, then calamity is around the corner. Spirituality in the man and carnality in the woman equals calamity in the home. Number four, forgive liberally. Forgive. Don't keep on saying last year you did it. Three years ago you did it. 15 years ago. In fact, it was exactly 1st of March 1985. <laughs> Around 2 p.m. in the afternoon, you said the same thing. <laughs> what kind of negative computer is that? Computer brain that is negativistic. But life is too short to live with tension. It's enjoy it don't enjoy it make up your mind to enjoy your life enjoy your family enjoy your wife enjoy your husband enjoy your children be the best thing that ever happened to, to your wife and be the best thing that ever happened to your husband be the best thing that ever happened to your children let them thank God endlessly that you are their father. Be a pleasant personality to hang around. Yes, so my beloved brothers and sisters, how do you see this message that you just heard from the great couple, daughter, pastor, a lady versus his wife? First of all, join me to celebrate grace upon this family. That the wisdom, the knowledge, the blessing, the anointing that God has deposited in this family will never go down. It will never reduce. God will continue to be opposing them with his right hand. Because 
this is a big joy. I don't know if you benefit something from this message, but for me, I achieved a lot because most of us did not know how to treat our partner. Sometimes it's what we commonalize, mostly the men, that's what the women appreciate so much. It's what we say, it's not matter, it's not necessary. That is the thing that the women love so much in relationship, in marriage. You can see the part when the man of God said, upon the way that he's so busy, but he still create time to write a text message to his wife. And that was a beautiful thing. And these are the things that most of us lack in our marriage, in our relationship. Brothers and sisters, we need to learn from this couple because marriage is like a school without no qualification. Marriage is like a school without no certificate except the grace of God. And marriage is like ocean without no direction. No man can discover the end of ocean. That is how marriage is. We need to learn. And mostly the men, most of us did not even know how to treat our partner. Sometimes you need to add ingredients, some spices to your relationship, to your marriage that will make him to be perfect. Such like if you are coming from the work or you just mistakenly branch some stores and you see some bra, some pants, your duty is for you to pick it. When you get home, you use it to surprise your wife. It's a little money, but she will appreciate those things. Most of the men did not even know the size of their white pants. These are the women that you have been married to for years. Please, we need to know all these things. How to add all these spice, the magin, the ingredient, the bobo to our relationship so that it will move to the permanent side. I celebrate this grace of man of God for him or her to bring this message to us for we to learn. Because marriage, we are continuing learning every day by day because no one is perfect. You need to use your wisdom because wisdom is profitable to direct. Ecclesiastic 10 verse 10 says so. God bless you my brothers and sisters. Please check yourself very well. If you are going outside and you are arriving somewhere, your duty is to carry phone and call your wife or call your husband. On him I'm going out, on him I'm arrived in that place, on him I'm coming home. Those are the things that the ladies love so much and that will make the marriage to grow to the permanent side. Because marriage, don't be my mind and Gary, is very hard and difficult. But when the both of you understand each other, it's very easy. God bless you all. May God give us the wisdom to carry our relationship to the permanent side. This is just the message that I decided to bring to you so that you will benefit something, so that you will change your math, so that you will change your calculation in your relationship. From this moment, you will know what you need to add or what you need to remove that will make your marriage to move forward. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I celebrate you all for always being here. I still remain your boy, your son, your friend. Sky Global, a messenger, a servant of God. May God continue to be blessing you the way you are contributed to this channel, to this platform, to this ministry. May the hands of God upon your life not go down. May your light shine to the world. May the world we are living celebrate the name of the Lord through your life. I celebrate you all. Please, you that is in channel for the first time, do us a favor. If you love what we are doing, be a part of this family, of this ministry by subscribing. Stay with us. Let's be a family together and let's use this home to celebrate the Almighty God. So that on that day, we will meet in the bosom of our Lord again. God bless you. I will leave you all from here. Peace. I live with you.